going to just sit there. As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I haven't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. I imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber. Heads or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Madame Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. We have company. We do indeed. Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? I... Aperitif. Find that handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. Ooh. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked. Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. What makes the girl different? I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more, with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. Mr. DeWitt here. Bird. Or the cage. Or perhaps the bird. Nothing beats the cage. He's still again. How do you... Never mind. Look at these, they're amazing. Which one do you like more, this one or, or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. I just can't decide. The one on the right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. 
Surprising. I expected the cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Now that's just sophistry. Oh my God. Beautiful, and the cage is... The one on the left. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. I expected the bird. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Oh my God. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. That's not it. Certainly is. Isn't. Isn't. Is. 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 <laughs> Try again. All right. Hold on. Here you are. Booker! We've got to stop them! No, that's the E. No. Booker, it's hurry! It. Here. No, it's not. It is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Try again. No, you try. Fine. Stop it! Stop it! You don't Here know you what are. you're doing! No, that is not it. Ha! There it is. You've done it now. He's... He's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? Of course. Well, at least they left the piano. I just realized who those two are. They, well, at least she, invented the technology that allows the city to float. Giant balloons. Quantum particles, suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not the subjunctive. I don't think this syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have it been. Had to have had been. That can't be. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences? Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. <laughs> How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit.
possibility test field entangled my quantum atom with waves of light, allowing for safe measurement. Sound familiar, brother? That's because you were measuring precisely the same atom from a neighboring world. We used the universe as a telegraph. Switching the field on or off became dots and dashes. Dreadfully slow. But now you and I could whisper through the wall. Brother, what Comstock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy, but probability. But his money means the Lutess field could become the Lutess tear, a window between worlds, a window through which you and I might finally be together. You have been transfused, brother, into a new reality, but your body rejects the cognitive dissonance through confusion and hemorrhage. But we are together, and I will mend you. For what separates us now but a single chromosome? I had trapped the atom in mid-air. Colleagues called my Lutess field quantum levitation. But in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple... Why not a city? Is she alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, that's sarcastic. said Lady Comstock didn't belong here. She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Oh. I don't know. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. 
Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Stock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet, we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. My brother has presented me with an ultimatum. If we do not send the girl back from where we brought her, he and I must part. Where he sees an empty page, I see King Lear, but he is my brother, so I shall play my part, knowing it shall all end in tears. Our contraption shows us the girl is the flame that shall ignite the world. My brother says we must undo what we have done, but time is more an ocean than a river. Why try to bring in a tide that will only again go out? The Prophet is dying. The metastasis has aged him so quickly. Why does this Comstock decay, while a Comstock in another world remains fit? If genetics are destiny, what accounts for the difference? Perhaps exposure to the contraption? Hmm. It merits further study. debts. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. Wait, wait. No, this is wrong. What is this? It was no... It was no baby. There was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Go ahead. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors, and what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. Bring us the...
the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was, I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, you're bleeding. No. I remember. But I remember. Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will do much for his mood. Come on. Hey. Hey, the deal's off, you hear me? Unstable. The deal is off! It's Give her back! Hurry. Give her back! Fine, are you mad? No, you will not get caught in between. Come! It is uncomfortable enough as it is! It's going to be more uncomfortable if you don't come now! If I get caught, it's going to be a very long time before we see each other! You will not get caught, I promise! You can't promise me that! We're going to lose our window! I'll wait, thank you! Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down Anna. the machine now! Don't do it! Give me back my daughter! She's gone, Booker. Anna's gone. You shared this room with your regret for almost 20 years. Until one day, a man came to you offered you a chance of redemption. A chance for us to breathe together. I told you it was We already know it works. The question is... You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Mm, sure. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. Wipe away the debt. Here's the girl. Wipe away the debt. See? He's girl. starting to put his story together. You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his old ones. Well, the brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I saw you. I saw you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this. Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother this son of a bitch in his crib.